David Phillips is battling COVID on two fronts. He's keen to keep infection rates low at his school in Chilwell in Nottingham, but is also having to deal with threats from anti-vax campaigners. Receptions took a call and, and came through and reported it to me that they'd had a person on the phone, male voice, basically telling me to watch my effing back. Said that's What they said was, tell David to watch his effing back three times um, and then put the phone down. What's your reaction to that? We deal with difficult people sometimes. That's the nature of what schools are. Um, but actually, when, when you've got somebody ringing up, allegedly, you know, making a threat towards you, then uh, you know, to a certain extent, you have to take it seriously. The police were notified, but Mr Phillips doesn't believe the threat came from a parent. But things didn't stop there. Half the pupils here took up the offer of a COVID jab at school on Monday. On the same day, Mr Phillips got a fake NHS email with a consent form attached for parents. It was written in, in a, a, a very different language from the kind of previous emails that we've had. It was written in the kind of language that you would not expect to be out of, uh, out of sorts from the normal email that we'd get from the NHS or from, from other professional services. What does that say to you about the people who've organised this? Well, there's, there's clearly been an element of coordination uh, and, a, and a campaign which is more sophisticated than what we'd seen in schools before. The fake email has been sent to schools across the country. It links deaths of children to the vaccine. But experts say that's simply not true. There have been no recorded deaths associated with the vaccine in children anywhere in the world. Um, and we do know that children can and do unfortunately die from COVID. You know, we've had 15 deaths in 10 to 19 year olds since the summer here in England. A teaching union says it's been inundated with emails from secondary schools targeted by anti-vax campaigners. Ahead in St Albans wrote, at a nearby school, anti-vaxxers gained access to the reception screaming and shouting. Fifteen had picketed the school the day before. Another in Winchester said, we came into school to find the external fences littered with anti-vaccine posters. And a head in Glastonbury said, we've had protesters at our school gates twice now. The second time they've been much more antagonistic. Oh, I think the number of schools that have been targeted by the anti-vax campaigners is very significant. I don't think there are many people working in school leadership, many head teachers who will not have received email letters, whether it comes from a legal background or a parent background. Teachers accept every parent has the right to say no to their child getting vaccinated. But there's deep concern about anti-vax campaigners, including Piers Corbyn, taking their protests to the school gates. It's about the kids getting vaccines, so have your mom read about it. Anti-vax campaigners have leafleted outside this school in Nottingham. Only 11% of pupils here have taken up the offer of a jab. The head says schools are the wrong place to vaccinate children. I'd much prefer that um, children were able to attend vaccine centres. We've had enough disruption um, to learning because of COVID and I think we all just want to get on with the day job really. Um, and I think that might have kept some of the politics away from the school gate. A government spokesperson said it is never acceptable for anyone to pressurise or intimidate pupils and teachers and called for an immediate end to such behaviour.